wanted herpes. She's got herpes. You know, and she has those those one of the most cyclic the breakouts, more, those cyclic you know lesion breakouts or whatever. A certain type of herpes. You said one of the most unwanted herpes. Well, yeah, there's many different kinds of herpes, but, but these are the kinds. This is kind of not the like, failing fuzzy kind. Let's say. Well, so yeah, the kind of herpes <laughs> where you know, you, like like you have a couple little <laughs> blisters and then it goes away and you never get it again, yeah. or a little bad penicillin is yeah. gone, yeah. or you know, like a cold sore and it's over, you know, or you know, a painful pee and it's through. You know, she's got the kind that you have periodic cyclic outbreaks, you know, for the rest of your life, right. lowering your immune system strength and uh, and not helping you out any. It resides in the nerve linings of your nerves, and it comes out periodically, and you can tell that you're coming out with a breakout because you'll, I guess what it is, is you start to feel uh, sensitivities in areas where you're going to end up getting a blister, a breakout, and so you have to go on certain medications, and you have to put some sobs and so on, uh, is so that you're not uh, communicable or whatever. You can be... You can be with a mate and still be a herpes carrier, carrying the virus, and not infect the mate as long as you are taking these meds while you're in your cycles. Well, my niece and my nephew turn around and go, it was Mike, her new one-year husband, that gave it to her. He's got it too. And they go, I go, that stands to reason, obviously, because unless she was jumping around from bed to bed... She never got it from her 27-year-old husband, 27-year-old let, let, let me recap. <laughs> yeah. Let me do a recap. You, Mike, is the, Mike is the screwball. Mike is the gangster. No. No, no. Mike Schneider is the, the, the quintessential uh, Yahoo Republican. Oh, 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 that's... I'm sorry. That is your... Let me go through it. No, no, no. Okay, go ahead. My sister, Lisa Hool. Your sister. I, no, no. Now I'm all clear. Now I'm all clear. You're clear. It's your niece. She has the gangster boyfriend. Pachito. His, his yeah, real name he, is what? He, uh, uh, Alberto Alendi. Uh, Alberto. Did you know about him before you got out there? I've, he's been with her now for like two and a half years or two years or something like that because he's got a 13 month year old boy. A 13 month boy. So you've seen him in person before? Or... I saw him briefly in May last year when I went for the Mother Day period and, and last year. what was that encounter like? Were you kind of like, uh... <laughs> we, we didn't exchange. We didn't exchange. I think the reason is because he's well knows that I'm a gay uncle. And and he know and I think everyone there says, uh, Lawrence is really bright. He, he can't, you know, he, he's interesting. He's he's he's, 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 he's a jazz, you know. And uh, and he's over there going, I need, you know, put on some rap around here, you know, it's like, you know, I'm not, it's like Chief and Sean, they don't hang around like, you know, Stephen Hawkins. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm Stephen Hawkins, no, but no, it's, 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 there's no chemistry, the there's I no was, chemistry. I was just wondering how, what, you know, like, you, you know, he could have had warts on his face and he could have, you know, had a peg crack. No, he's a, 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 he's a re relatively handsome guy. guy. He's a relatively handsome guy. So, so... So he dresses kind of, but he dresses bling bling. But he dresses kind of. You know, he doesn't dress bling bling. But these are the types of people they are. You know, he he. Yeah. Okay, he's at my mother's house at the religious discussion that first dinner that we had, like on Saturday, the first Saturday, and uh, he comes in late and he sits at the end of the table with my niece, and and he talks like street hood. You know, so he's like yo, you know, like a New Yorker kind of thing. You know, kind of different. But anyway. He sits down and we're talking about some neighbors that are terrorizing uh, this wo woman, Dominique, at Erica's complex. And I also have the impression that this person's terrorizing Erica. Because Erica said, yeah, he gives me the feeling and goes, watch the step. And so when you parked over the line the other night, we're going to the, the building association and we're having, we're getting you a $50 fine on the building association. So, you know, so Erica so there's a nut job living right. in the building. So there's a nut job at the building terrorizing everybody. And uh, the latest thing that he did was throw through some wood screws on the ground so that they, when they drew, drive in and out of their parking spot, they would get a flat tire. And I'm like, uh, well, anyway, this guy comes in and he, and he goes, Alberto Orlandi, Machito turns around and he's like, we're trying to figure out how to deal with it. I turned around to Erica and I go, Erica, if you were to be known by this person that you were going behind their back to screw them out of, you know, peace and quiet, you know, somehow, would they then like, like want to hurt you and terrorize you more? She goes, yeah. I go, then don't do nothing to them. It'll just let it die out on its own. He turned around, Alberto Alendi, Machito turns around and says, um, Yeah, but he don't understand. I'll punch his fucking lights out. You know, and I'm like, Oh, yeah, we're doing the felonious approach. You know? <laughs> <laughs> right. 
And, and I like that, because when people turn around, man, they're like, oh, punch his fucking lights out. He's yeah. It's a, a biggest guy. He's a yeah, biggest yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, I was just in a situation where something like that got really uncomfortable very suddenly. Yeah. Funny, too. Yeah, because you, you must have comers and goers at your complex oh, that you would rather not deal with. You just don't really rent hear. to them. Oh, you just don't was, rent uh, to them, right? Oh, I remember. I was upstairs talking to my, this guy, um... A-Fi in 